you know maybe LaTeX Beamer, so uh, a really cool tool to make presentations. And, and usually you have this slide on the presentation. And um, the problem of LaTeX Beamer is that Adobe has no good presentation mode. So you see it from PowerPoint and all this stuff. And yeah, this is my attempt to create a good presentation mode for it. So um, you configure your computer to um, this resolution, you configure the project to have this resolution, and you do it like this, that you put it on a specific position, then you see only this thing on the presentation and all the other only on my laptop. That's what I tried when my computer fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> great. Uh, <laughs> And the thing is, then you can use the rest of the page to show the next slide, to show your presentation mode, and even to show what you see in the bottom corner to count your time. And this is done in JavaScript. So you see it here, down here. It counts my time, it counts um, the total time, it counts from this page, it gets red because I'm a little too slow. And um, you have other cool stuff like click per minute ratios and slide per minute ratios. And uh, you have uh, some uh, field here in the top over there where you have all the pages where you can jump directly because the problem is that the uh, Adobe pages which are in the PDF are not the pages you see here. And if afterwards somebody asks, oh, can you please go to slide three back, then you can just click here and go to slide three, which is not necessarily the, the um, Adobe page three. And um, one um, great addition you have in this thing too is that after you have done your talk and tried to, t to do your talk, you can just go to the first page, um, unclick the count time, and then you can review how long you uh, took uh, how long it took you to take this slide. So for example, on this slide I took, uh, I, uh, I um, waited 33 three seconds. Um, this everything can be exported of course, so you have a summary here which just opens the JavaScript console then and then you have here, this is in text to have it for all slides and what you can do is you can go to your LaTeX code and write the frame time in t into your frame. So just beneath begin frame, you make frame time, and then you put the seconds in, and then you have for all the slides the time you have for this slide only, and it counts down the slide, um, only this slide, the timer, and it gets only for, uh, you have a really fine-grained modification, which is even cooler than in the PowerPoint thing. So um, I think this is not the end because I have uh, ideas how this can be improved further. So because when you have this presentation, so this is one PDF and you come to another computer, I mean, you have to configure the other computer in this way, which is really hard and it only works on Linux this great. Um, what I have in mind is to have something where you have only this one as a PDF and um, you need some uh, some program which controls the other window. So controlling the um, Adobe window and controlling another Evans window or another Adobe window which shows the next slide which you can have on your computer. So and therefore I want to write this um, in this way. So if you want to help me, contact me. You can just um, yeah, Google for me, you will find it. Real hackers will find it. Um, uh, yeah, this one. And yeah, that's it.